Hello and welcome back, Windows. <laughs> I just noticed one thing right there. <laughs> My concrete needs another container to fill it up. That's very crazy. Anyway, welcome back to Satisfactory. I mean, yeah, it's the only videos I make, so <laughs> this is what you have to watch. Anyway, um, I was just sitting on top of this lookout tower, admiring my little factory that I've made in the past um, 12 hours and 44 minutes. Let me save that. There we go. And, yeah, I mean, as much as I give like bad rep to my factory about being super messy, kind of looks organized from this view like kind of as you can see like let me know what do you think in the comments by the way if this looks organized at all anyway um well your yeah, we'll use won't, won't matter much maybe in the future because i am planning to change this entire factory in order to do the next objective for the uh, space elevator which is going to be 500 smart plating, 500 versatile network, and 500 uh, another thing, which I forgot. <laughs> anyway, yeah, I'll have to pretty much just destroy the whole factory and rebuild it from scratch. Hopefully, in a more organized manner. Anyway, there is one more thing that I wanted to show you, which is a little surprise that I have for you. Like, there's something that's very different from the last video. And that is BAM redundancy. Yep. We have coal production. Oh yeah, we have coal production. And I'm gonna be showing that to you right now. And through the magic of editing, that transition would have seemed extremely smooth. And trust me, it wasn't smooth for me. Anyway. Look at this majestic, nicely laid out, perfect looking coal production. And while I was at it, I also managed to add another one of these coal, uh, well, two of the, two more of these coal generators. And I've got like a few more redundancy, which is nice. And a bit more production, which you'll see why later. Anyway, yeah, coal factory, it's beautiful, admire it now and also admire my beautiful lookout tower ladder of justice that i use to scale this mountain frequently for my sulfur plant which is right there as you can see in the hub yeah a clever use of lookout towers by the way just letting you know and they're cheap to make yeah gold factory right welcome back as you can see, it's pretty majestic, like pretty nicely laid out. I am going to be expanding it later on, like pretty soon. But after um, I have expanded the coal production, I'm going to be changing this entire factory to something that's a lot more, well, neatly laid out, I guess, because yeah, this is not neatly laid out. First of all, what I'm going to do is just get another storage container inside just on top wait where is that um how will that go right um here i so it's gonna go like that there we go and i'm gonna use the mark one logistics because i really don't care about it that much okay as you can see, this is getting pretty tricky to mm, like, do this from here. Perfect. Now, I hope, yeah, it's gonna start moving. Good. Um, I should probably change these to Mark 2 because this is kind of slow. It's alright, I guess. At least it's moving. Anyway, I say anyway a lot. Um, so I fixed the screw situation, that means 
the well it was more likely more so the rod situation where the rods weren't weren't being weren't being supplied fast enough so the screws couldn't be produced now as you can see there's a uh, a bunch of extra rods here redundancy again and a bunch of extra rods here and they're both overclocked so i'm getting screws for days and that also means that this rotor factory is about 100 percent efficient now as you can see the rods are still a bit of a problem because oops uh there's some of the rods that are going right here to this modular frame factory which i just overclocked so what i'm going to do is actually like fill it up a bit so i just help it out basically um yeah since i overclocked this uh the rod production of, uh, the rod consumption of this has become much higher and because of that i'm getting a lot of these model frames but on top of that these rods are being cons consumed faster than, than they can be produced so yep english i can speak um, right so just one more issue to solve that's all <laughs> <sighs> yeah. One more issue to solve. Thankfully, the reinforced plates are like going absolutely wonderfully, and this is like going yeah, as you can see, pretty well. Um, another thing I found was cadmium. Yes, now I can scan for cadmium, which is actually pretty amazing because I need this resource like badly. Let's see how far it is. <laughs> Oh shoot, that's far. That's like 700 meters, but it's fine actually. I mean, I had to go like a thousand meters for just coal itself, so it's honestly not that bad. And it does seem like there's some gallery over there as well. Nice. I really don't want to go in that direction because the last time I went there, spoiler alert, I did go there and there was this massive Jeffrey. Those who watch Ollie's channel would know what I'm talking about. There was this massive Jeffrey which, that just kept killing me, and I really don't want to deal with that again. So, yes, I'm not going there. Also, there's these weird floating islands in that direction, which I don't know how to traverse properly. Again, so yeah. Right, so in a little while, I'm going to be changing this entire factory to something a lot more organized. And I'll see you guys then. Okay, I just need to show you something. <laughs> um, so we finished tier 3, which was coal power vehicle transport and basic steel production. And I'm going to be moving on to this fairly soon. But look at what's next. Hyper tubes. And more importantly, the Xeno Basher, which I really, really want. So I'm going to... I can basically do this right now. Uh, there you go. <laughs> take take it all. Just take it. And I'm gonna get more resources, of course. But yeah, the Xenobash is gonna be very, very helpful. And of course, these hand slots and inventory slots. That's gonna be useful as well. Yep. Also, Logistics Mark III is on the, is next on the list because th that is very important. Like, and I can do these like fairly easily after the, I set up my steel production, which I haven't done yet. So once I've done that, yeah, I'm going to be doing this next because conveyor belt mark 3 is, is going to be very essential. And then on to advanced steel production and finally hyper tubes. Because, mm, I mean, they're not that important, but I, I'll need them in the future anyway. So it's okay. Hyper tubes are go is going to be set for last. See you guys later. Right, so here it is, the steel factory. I know, I know, it looks amazing. Just forget the wire mesh right there, okay? That's, it's, that's not important. What's important is that this factory is pretty efficient. Now, there is one thing that is a slight problem, which can be solved with a very easy overclock, which is, this, there's not enough coal, basically, because there's coal going to the coal factory and there's coal going to this factory. 
and yeah I basically have to overclock the miners the coal miners which are situated right there somewhere there anyway uh, um yeah so this area was pretty much like perfect for building a steel factory because a there was a bunch of coal like right there and of course hence the coal production right here and b there was just concrete right there like j literally it was the perfect setup and there was iron nodes right there as you can see if i can just zoom in i can show you yeah if you can see that over there yeah that's the iron miner and yeah that was pretty much perfect for what for the purposes that um, it's going to be used for and let me just get rid of this lookout tower your purpose has been served so goodbye and i'm going to show you guys something which you're going to be pretty excited about which is pinkest industrial beams now the experience amongst you would know why this resource is pretty important for the next phase and that is because of conveyor belt mark 4 which is a very big improvement over the conveyor belt mark 3 which already is a big, pretty, big, pretty big improvement gosh I can't speak to that anyway yeah it, the production isn't the best because you know it's kind of slow admittedly I need more concrete which I think some the scanner told me it was some concrete right there again evidencing to the fact that this place is pretty much perfect for the steel and encased industrial bean factory and yeah um, yeah I just gotta solve some just gotta solve some of these issues like the coal see you, ha you can see it's 90% efficient it's like it's, ugh, it's kind of annoying but yeah I'll solve it I promise I swear I know I say that a lot as well I should probably start working on those promises right anyway that's my steel production and encased iron labor and encased industrial beam production and here's my little tractor oh my god it's been a while <laughs> it's been a very long time as you can see it's now 17 hours and 24 minutes of game time which i'm gonna save like right now and um we want to be just in load hyper tubes and we've basically finished tier four so that's all the goals accomplished for today and next up is the space elevator phase two which is just to remind you guys i'm just gonna show you just a second here we go it is 500 smart plating 500 versatile framework and a hundred automated wiring which i couldn't name the last time i spoke with you <sighs> yeah um so i've decided on something i'm not gonna completely get rid of this factory even though it's doesn't look that amazing um it's a hundred percent efficient now thanks to the overclocking and like better conveyor system so yeah i'm not gonna completely get rid of this instead i'm gonna keep it here and maybe build a new factory somewhere else anyway that's me done for the day hope to see you guys the next time see you later